worked at the district attorney's office for 30 years as a victim witness um, coordinator for um, Clearfield and Blair County district attorney's office. And what I was seeing in working with young and old alike is that they didn't have a focus on where they were going to be in the future. Um, they didn't believe in themselves and they thought that um, good things happened to other people. We're trying to change mindsets mm -hmm. um, to think more positively and the more that we can change the mindset um, and it becomes a regular pattern for our youth um, to believe in themselves, the stronger our community is going to be. A lot of our speakers have ties to the area um, and some people just have ties to the area through friendships and um, that's okay because the ones that from outside the area are ones that you might recognize maybe a little bit more than the local people but um, everybody has a story to tell and we just wherever we get our stories and we get our inspiration um, we welcome speakers from all, all areas have difficulties in our lives and if you have it you will and it's preparing for those and meeting them head-on so that you can slingshot forward from the challenges you have a lot of the time we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day that we forget to really explore new opportunities and just try something new and usually we just hope for things but we need to actually do the work to get where we want to go Like being in seventh grade, I kind of was in a little bubble. Just, I had my own problems, just focused on myself. But now I look at the world way differently. Like I look at you guys and understand that you've overcome some incredible things. And just everyone on the street, like you learn to think about other people more. So you just, you don't think about yourself anymore. You look out onto the street and you're like, they've been through challenges. Like that person has overcome some incredible things in their lives. So it definitely has stuck with me. I thought that Dano um, was most impactful for me because his story and his struggles really just shown like how much a perspective changes everything. Um, one of the stories that he said that stuck out to me was he was in a fire and due to um, his medical disabilities, like he couldn't walk, he couldn't get out, he was trapped. And that's scary and it's a lot and he was young. And when he was older, he, he survived obviously to talk. And when he was older um, he made a children's book out of it and so out of for fire fire safety which is really cool because it shows like how you know something that's scary something that's difficult something that seems impossible you can change to impact other people's lives for the better and I just think that's so such an awesome takeaway you don't know really anything about the world until you hear about other people's stories. Like you don't know anything until you look through someone else's eyes or step into their shoes and just hearing everyone's stories changes your whole perspective of the world and of your life and of everyone else's lives. Like you understand things that you would never understand if you had never been there. This may not seem like that big of a place or that cool of a place or there's not that many people where I mean it's just Tyrone like but it shows that like people are people no matter where you came from and it's up to you to write your own destiny as corny as that sounds. It's amazing to hear the stories and walk away feeling uh, empowered and excited and passionate um, and uplifted by the stories that you hear and that's what we're trying to accomplish is for you to feel better about leaving than when you walked in that room. When the